Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how you can create different types of loading animations in Figma. Let's get into the video quickly. Let's start with clock loading animations. So I'll show how you can do prototype settings. If you watch this video fully, you'll get to know the prototype settings for all other loading animations. Let's see how you can create a clock loading animation. I have created a frame and drawing a rectangle with very blunt corners. Replicated the scene and draw a circle to get the proper round. And then place the circles which has been created from the rectangle. You can place as much as you want. I have placed 12 circles around the rectangle. Make sure you are placing it in line. And then reduce the size of the rectangles in each frames and hide other circles apart from the near one. Replicate the same for the rest of the frames. Clock loading too. Now animate using this interaction details. Replicate the same for all the screens. Animation is a bit slow, so I want to reduce the timing so that I can get these results. Now, a uh, clock loading rainbow theme. I have also created the clock loading animation with rainbow theme. Let's see how it looks. I have given the linear gradient with different set of colors. You can see this 12 colors has been used for the linear gradient. And I have pasted the properties for all the rectangles out there but each and every circle will be in the different colors of whatever the colors you have used in the linear gradients one by one so that you can reduce the color in the rectangle and put that reduced color in the circle replicate the same for the rest of the screens okay i have copy pasted the whole set of the frames and flipped horizontally so that i can get the reverse loading screens let's see how it looks while playing here you go Basic loading animation. Make a circle, convert that into a loading bar using the arc. Change their angles and place them in different frames. And connect the screens using this interaction details. Replicate the same for rest of the screens. Then try playing it. Here you go. Bouncy loading animation. Create a blank screen and also create a circle with linear gradient. Place them outside in the first frame and place it at the center in the second screen. Make sure both of the circle names are same and replicate the circles in different sizes in other screens. And connect this each screen using this interaction details. Replicate the same for rest of the screens. And try playing it. Proper animation might take time so restart and play it again to get good results. Jumping ball animation. Create three balls, but you have to create components out of those three balls. Uh, you can have the primary color or use similar three different colors. Place them differently in each component and connect them using this interaction details. Now place the component in the screen and play it. Progressive loading animation. I've created a rectangle and also I've created another rectangle to give the shade. I've created a small rectangle and given the linear gradient. Same in another screen, I've extended the rectangle into a long one and then given the same linear gradient. Then connected the screens using this interaction details. Given the 10,000 minutes to get loaded so that you'll get good results out of this. You can also change the timings if you want. Now try playing it. Wavy loading animation. I've created components with two layers, two layers of waves in different colors so that you'll get the wavy feeling when it's getting loaded and gave this interaction details. And placed in this different frames and try playing it. As I told before, you have to restart it to get good results and then do this until you get it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. If you have any doubts or if you have any other ideas of creating loading animations in Figma, you can put that in the comment section. Yes, I'll wait you on the next video. Till then, bye-bye.